Hey guys, even here, 2019 Mr. Olympia has started but only 212 division and right now we're watching 212 pre-judging. By the end of the day we're gonna find out who won it, but it seems like, unfortunately, it seems like Derek Lansford was just all hype. But before we get to that, we can watch some posing routines, for example Ahmad Ashkanani right here, who looks good, very very good, I like what I see. Especially from the back, I mean he's known for having one of the best backs in the world. But lower body not so much. Sean Clarida. Sean Clarida is actually looking amazing. And it seems like he's gonna take the third spot. Anyways, he's, uh, you know, too small, too short of a guy. It's crazy how small this guy is. I think he's like 160 or something like that on the stage. I mean, imagine that. Next up is Eduardo Correa. Very, very good, but not exactly top 3 Mr. Olympia material. These other guys in top 3 are much better than him. He's a little bit too stringy for them and has a couple of weaknesses that are exposed on this stage. And this seems to be 212 champion, Kamal El Gargni. And we're gonna hear more about it later, but as you can see, this guy looks amazing. Very, very complete, head to toe. So detailed, conditioned, spot on, spot on, just very, very good physique. David Henry, pretty much disappointment, honestly. Not super sharp, as he knows how to be. Look at the stomach right here. Very watery for some reason. I was expecting more from him, but it is what it is. He's getting older, so not much to expect. And now we can see Derek Lansford, uh, who is a huge disappointment, this Mr. Olympia. Not conditioned at all. Not at all. Is this water retention problem, or did he just not diet enough? Beats me. I don't know, but uh, just not good enough. Especially, especially through his upper chest and shoulders, which is pretty much what he's known for. He's very soft through that part. From the back, he's not that bad, but... Also from the side, you can see his upper chest, uh, upper shoulders, very, very fluffy. Very, very soft, like baby's butt. But uh, from the sides, he looks big. He looks bigger than most of these guys. But, I mean, you can take a look at his chest right here and uh, not see any details, any separation. From the back, again, not that bad. From the back, it's much better. I mean, especially through the glutes and uh, his lower back also very, very good. But not conditioned enough. And you will see him exposed next to Kamal where he looks much less dominant. Uh, also, we have Zane Watson. Well, looking good as usual, but, you know, he's kind of too small for these other guys. He's not that uh, round and full, but still, I'm sure he had a great presentation and uh, I have no idea what results will he have, but this man right here, Hiratada Yamagishi, looking pretty solid, pretty conditioned. Not as good as last time we saw him, to be honest, that was probably the peak of his career. I can't really remember which competition that was, but I know he was super dialed in. But right here, age took a lot of his fullness. Anyways, top three right here. Sean Clarida, Kamal, and Derek. So, as you can see from the back, Derek doesn't look that bad, but look at Kamal. Look at the details of his lower body. Lower back, I mean, and the glutes and everything. He just conditioned, conditioned, conditioned. So many details, very, very hard. He picked perfectly, pretty much. Now, the chances are he can be a little bit worse for the finals, but I still don't see it. I don't see him losing this Mr. Olympia. No, no, no. You will see it better on HD photos that are coming up next, but uh, here you can basically see the difference, especially their upper chest. Pretty much their upper body from the front. That, that's when you can see the biggest difference. And the quads. I mean, Derek is all soft. Entirely. He's super soft. He just missed the mark. Is this... Okay, look at it now. Look at it now. I mean, look at Kamal. How conditioned he is. Sean is also in great conditioning, but he's just much smaller. Anyways, um, what is the reason? Why is this... Uh, I have no idea. I mean, it could be just missing the mark, you know, messing up the peak week, but I just don't get that impression. For me, it seems like he didn't diet hard enough. I was watching him prepping and I was expecting him to, you know, get more shredded for the Mr. Olympia because he looked big, he looked complete and everything and good. But I was just thinking, he doesn't look very conditioned. And I was right, apparently he looks very, very soft, especially compared to these two guys, Sean and Kamal. But Kamal, really, I never saw him coming. Uh, if you remember, this guy, he was doing guest posing at the Pittsburgh Pro. Back then when Sean Rodden embarrassed himself by looking very, very fat. And I just knew this is some 212 guy, some top 212 guy, but I had no idea he's going to win the Mr. Olympia. Because look at him here. Nobody had him, you know, in their prediction. I had no idea. Honestly, he just, you know, got conditioned as hell. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, he's also very complete. Don't get me wrong. But uh, he's going to win the Mr. Olympia because of conditioning. Because he is more conditioned than anybody else here. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that's going to happen. I don't think anybody else can beat him because most of these guys kind of miss the mark. And you cannot really see it here on these uh, videos, but I'm going to show you some quality photos uh, after this video. Because this is all I got right now. The collection of videos from Instagram and who knows where. And as soon as I get something a little bit better with higher quality, I'm going to upload that as well. Probably for the finals. So let's wait and see. But uh, as for now, based on you know how judges are moving them around, you can see what uh, the result is going to be. And it seems like they are rooting for Derek. They were really hoping for Derek to win it. They were expecting him. I mean, being last year's runner-up and being American. Being able to speak proper English, unlike uh, Kamal. But I don't think they will give it to him. I don't think that's going to happen because Kamal just looks much better. And here is a high-quality photo of uh, Eduardo Correa. He looks conditioned, matured, but not that good. And this guy, I mean, Kamal, look at him. How conditioned he is. Look at the details all over his body and the hardness. Now, Derek from the back, he looks very good, but from the front, it's a huge difference. And also from the back, he's a little bit soft. Not a little bit, a little bit more than a little bit. Uh, Hiratada Yamagishi kind of melted down, you know, age is getting to him. And uh, here is a photo of the top five. And it seems like Kamal is winning. He's in the middle right here. Um, Derek is bigger, he's fuller, but uh, look at it. I mean, this, this photo pretty much proves everything. This photo, I mean, if they give this victory to Derek, just look at look at this photo. It's literally night and day difference. First of all, I mean, the chest, the upper chest, the upper shoulders, <laughs> the stomach, the quads. I mean, what good is size if you're not conditioned? I mean, Derek looks soft, 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 especially... I mean, that upper chest and shoulders, but also look at the, the middle part of his quads. The inner part, sorry. Look at that. I mean, is that fat? I think that's just fat all over his physique. I don't think this is just water. He's way off. He was apparently all hype. Not much else from that. And it seems like Kamal is looking amazing. And he's our next 212 Mr. Olympia champion. I would definitely consider giving second place to Sean Clarida because he's way more conditioned than Derek. He's smaller, that's true, but way more conditioned and detailed and polished. And uh, here you can see Kamal's lower back. I mean, look at this. This is really, really good. This is like Dorian Yates conditioning. Very, very good conditioning and completeness of entire physique. Derek may be bigger, a little bit bigger, but he is bigger because of that fat and water retention. I don't care how much bigger he is. He doesn't look better than Kamal. No way. This photo right here shows it pretty well. I mean, look at the arms, the chest, the, the stomach. Just a night and day conditioning difference. And I don't really see why Derek is in top three. I guess you can make an argument that the reason for that is the size. And size does matter for sure. In a Sin City, <laughs> like their slogan is. But still, he literally looks off-season. He definitely looks like he's in the off-season. He doesn't look conditioned at all. But these back shots are what is actually helping him a lot at this competition because nobody else aside from this guy right here, Kamali, has back like this. And that's what Derek was known for, having an amazing back. Not only back, but glutes as well. I mean, his glutes are kind of dialed in and hamstrings as well. So it's weird that he's not that conditioned from the front, but it's the case. It's the fact. And uh, the only reason that he is not lower than top three is actually the, the back shots. But again, I mean, take a look at this. Just take a look at this and tell me what you think. Tell me down below in the comment section. It's a huge difference, guys. Huge difference. Derek is so soft, so smooth. Smoother than last year, definitely. He definitely missed the mark, unfortunately. I mean, everybody was expecting him to win the Mr. Olympia, to give us great show, but he disappointed. He disappointed. I mean, compare his quads to Kamal's quads. A night and day difference. Night and day difference. Definitely, Derek looks like he is in the off season still. Being this off, being this fluffy, being this off with conditioning should definitely not be awarded. But at least he's not going to win the Mr. Olympia. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure Kamal is going to take it. What do you guys think? Who do you think will win? Do you think it's going to be Kamal or Derek or somebody else? What do you think about Derek? Did he deserve to be in top three call out? 
Will he get second place or worse than that? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to my channel. As soon as I get more videos from Mr. Olympia, I'm gonna flood you with videos, with content. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on many Mr. Olympia updates and all kinds of bodybuilding content. Thank you very much guys for watching. All the best. Bye bye.